My base case is we can manage the trade wars. Trump talks big. He doesn't deliver as much. I'm not, my base case is this is not going to ruin the, the, the world economy. But I am watching these exchange rates. And we've got a fantastic panel here to discuss these issues. And what I want to ask people to address is firstly, um, am, I, am I wrong? Is, that, uh, the trade, is the trade war actually a bigger threat than I'm saying? Is it, is it going to be more significant? Um, and secondly, um, if it is, if I am wrong, what has your institution done to prepare for these trade wars? Andy, uh, four or five minutes, maybe? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, uh, you know, a lot of other panelists have uh, sp spoken a lot about uh, uh, what they, what, what uh, they, what, what is good, what is bad. I, I uh, maybe uh, first focus on my, my prediction. Uh, I, I, I've been writing about this for a while. I think that uh, in, in the short term, meaning this year, next year, a real trade war is not likely. Uh, the deputy governor just mentioned the one reason I believe in is that uh, this time it's, uh, uh, it's not like Japan. Uh, in the 80s, Japanese were selling something uh, Japanese, everything made in Japan. In, in the case of China, it's really supply chain. Uh, uh, the, the profits are in the United States and, uh, and the production is in China. So uh, it's, it's much not easy to deal with that. So uh, this is one reason. The other reason is that uh, our, uh, uh, the U.S. economy is doing uh, relatively well right now. So uh, uh, why do you want to rock the boat? I think the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, that, 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 that doesn't make sense. Also, the United States has a lot of bubbles. If you rock the boat, the risk premium goes up, all the bubbles pop. You have like a huge bond market bubble, huge stock market bubble, and the, the valuation of the stock market is 100% above historical average. Then you have a huge, gigantic uh, uh, Silicon Valley bubble. You look around and people talk about the whole internet changing the world, how digitalization, all, all, those, all that crap. You look at the economic impact, we, we see zero. All these Silicon Valley geniuses have had a zero impact on the global economy. So, uh, so uh, it's just a huge, um, huge bubble, all due to what? Low interest rate, too much money supply. So uh, you are uh, basically, all those guys, basically, Elon Musk is a bubble, trust me. No. So, uh, so, the, uh, uh, so basically, when it pops, you know, all those guys go down. So I, I, I don't really, uh, I, I don't think that, uh, you look at a Trump, Trump like a th looks dangerous, but he's it, not as dangerous as he looks. Because he thinks aloud, and when he thinks, he tweets. So uh, so makes you very nervous. But when, but when he thinks again, the guy is, he chickens out, you see. He chickens out every time. So, uh, so I, I, I don't really believe that uh, in the short term. Uh, uh, there will be a real trade war. You know, the, he, uh, you know, if, if we, the, uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, during the midterm election in, uh, in November, you know, if, he, if the Democrats win the Congress, uh, the, the, uh, and they'll impeach him, and he'll go to jail. He knows that. So, so he, he's afraid of going to jail, right? So, uh, so this is the sort of, I think, that uh, short term is, is not likely. But uh, over time, it's, got, it's very serious. You look at the US economy, the, the, it's at the peak of the cycle. The fiscal deficit is 5% of GDP. Interest rate is, is it, well, one point some percent. This is at the peak of the cycle. In the previous peak, uh, cycle peaks, you would have fiscal surplus. Interest rate would be like a 6%. So when the economy goes down, you can cut interest rate, you can increase the fiscal deficit. But at this time, when the economy goes down, it's going to be really bad. There are no tools. Because of the, the, and, the, and if they cut interest rate, increase fiscal deficit, deficit the dollar will collapse. So, uh, so the, uh, uh, the, uh, the United States, during the next cycle down, the Americans will have huge, very difficult time. And I think that the, the United States uh, will lash out. Now, you look at the last 40 years, the wage growth has been like a zero, basically zero, like 0.2%. And most people, 
uh, living standard has not increased. And uh, you look at the education cost, educate, higher education cost has basically quadrupled. So an average working class family in the Midwest could not send their children to college anymore. So they are trapped. These generations have no hope. There's no hope for the next generation. So you know, I think that uh, this is a very dire situation, and they, they, they could lash out. But uh, who is going to, who is to blame? Now, you, you, you blame Chinese? Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I've been watching this for like a long time. It's, it's uh, basically, uh, it's not a one, any one guy's fault. You look at Americans, they are in this situation because Americans love to have a good time. They want to spend money, spend, spend, spend. Every time the economy is going down, they, 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 they say, what's the solution? Spend more money. Uh, how, well, then they buy all these trinkets made in China. Then what do they do? Nothing. They throw everything into basement. Then the basement is full. What do they do? They build another basement to, cook, to create another housing bubble. So, it's, it's a life is a total waste. Why would you want to have like a, another, another phone every year? This is just a crazy. You have a better phone, then you have, a, you can, you, you have a more opportunity to kill time, right? So you're always looking at the phone. What's the point? So this is a set of, uh, 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 we need a behavioral, behavioral change, right? We need a really behavioral change. So I, I, how are we going to change the behavior? No, I, I, I'm not saying Chinese are not at fault. Chinese kind of love to make money. So it's the opposite of, uh, of the United States. So we, we need both sides to change. Thank you very much. I, I could listen to you for an hour. But, uh...